I'm Mark, Kilo Delta 7, Delta Tango Sierra, and I'd like to show off something new I found out about what you can do with an Elecraft KX2. So this is my field kit, and inside it's got pretty much all the standard stuff. I've replaced the microphone with the little headset microphone, so that's my audio system for the field, so I don't have to carry the big mic. I've got a Bombatech TP3 key, wonderful little piece of Morse code equipment. I've got a 3D printed cover to protect the KX2 when I'm out in the field. I've got the KX2, of course, and a little waterproof pin. And then I've got the, uh, the AX series antennas, along with something new. And this is what I wanted to talk about in this video. This is three adapters connected up, and together they let me do FT8 and FT4 with just my iPhone, this cable, and the KX2. My cable for connecting the iPhone to the KX2 has three parts. The first is a USB-C to TRRS adapter. This takes the digital output from the iPhone 15 and it converts it to an analog signal that has both audio in and audio going back out. The second part of this cable is a very standard TRRS extension cable. And then the third part of this cable is a TRRS to TRS TRS splitter. So this converts that single cable into an audio in channel and an audio out channel for the KX2. Here you can see that cable put together and connected to the KX2 and my iPhone. I've also uh, connected the antenna as well, so we have some real signals coming in. Uh, I'm recording this at night, so we're listening to 40 meters with a uh, compromised four foot whip inside of my apartment. So a couple things to note. Unlike what you would expect, the microphone is actually going into the output port for the KX2 and the headphone port is going into the microphone port. And that just is a quirk of the way that this cable is wired up, but it works great. So you just need to flip those. It's a little bit counterintuitive. And then on this side, on the iPhone, we're running IFTX. It's a great new app that came out uh, quite recently, actually, and it does uh, both FT8 and FT4 on iOS devices. And it lets us listen, it automatically transcribes, and then it allows us to either reply or call CQ. So if we tap CQ over here, it will wait until the next transmit cycle. And we'll let, we'll let that go ahead and run. And what you'll see is that over here, the KX2 will automatically start transmitting. And I'll adjust the microphone gain until the ALC is just at about five bars there. And that prevents distortion in the transmitted signal. So that's how we get transmit to work. There's a couple things to be aware of when you're doing this, which are the settings on your KX2. So if you have your mic bias on, that applies a, a three volt bias to the microphone and that can cause all sorts of chaos when you're using one of these analog to digital converters. So make sure you turn that mic bias off. And similarly, you can have issues if you leave the microphone button turned on. So go ahead and turn off that mic button. And then the other thing you have to do is, you notice we didn't have any cat connected. So what we do is we go over here and we turn on Vox mode. So it's actually using just keying off the audio from the iPhone to determine when to transmit. And for my setting, I found that an inhibit value of about 10 is pretty good, a Vox gain of about 35 is pretty good, and over here, my mic is set to about 50, and that's with the iPhone turned up to full volume. So that's it. That's FT8 and FT4 on an iPhone 15 connected directly to a KX2 with a single cable. Pretty nifty.